Hi, it's Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio with a new painting video. Um, I am trying to put together all the pieces for a solo silver bayonet campaign. And some of the NPC baddies I need for one of the scenarios are vampires. These are metal miniatures from North Star for the silver bayonet range. And they're kind of dressed up in sort of 18th century uh, fashions. Um, which makes them an excuse to get some weird colours out that I wouldn't normally use on my uh, usual Napoleonic line troops. So I'm going to work with some um, purples and sort of turquoises um, and do something a little bit different in this video. For the Lady Vampire I'm using Vallejo Game Colour Hexed Lichen for the base coat on the dress. Sometimes I feel when you're doing NPCs um, for games that only appear in a scenario, is you're kind of stuck doing a rock and a hard place of wanting to um, do something quickly that lets you get the rest of the playing pieces uh, done, but also trying to do something um, nice as a, a fun painting activity. So I will be doing some highlighting um, and mixing um, of colours to achieve a sort of rough and ready blended finish. So it's a bit of an exercise in uh, painting technique, um, but also by limiting myself just to a, a few colours across the model, um, it won't take that long to do. Or at least that's the plan. For the Gentleman Vampire, I've got some Vallejo Game Colour Jade Green. This is actually one of my favourite colours, but I very rarely get a chance to paint anything with it. So um, I'm going to do his coat, his waistcoat, um, and his breeches in this colour. I have added some Game Colour Warlock Purple into the Hex Lichen. And I'm going to apply that over the dress except in the deepest recesses. The Vampire Gentleman's hi first highlight colour is some of the Jade Green. Um, and I've added Army Painter Royal Cloak. Mixing ratio is about 50-50. Um, same goes for the purples on the Lady Vampire. The ratio is now sort of 75, 25 uh, Warlock Purple to Hex Lichen. Got a smaller brush out um, and I'm just making the next highlights that little bit more fine. Sticking to the highest points that might be collecting the most light. and the sharpest edges, such as on the ribbons. This is that 75-25 ratio again. 75 Royal Cloak, 25 Jade Green. Again, much smaller highlights than before. And now I've got pure Warlock Purple.
with pure royal cloak I'm gonna do some extreme highlights being vampires I think we should probably introduce some red on the model so this underskirt and the feather in her hair I have a Vallejo game extra opaque heavy red for this base coat for the gentleman vampire I will take that same heavy red paint up his nice lacy cravat and um, his cuffs and the bow in his hair well, I should probably get a smaller brush for this I think first highlight layer on the red is army painter dragon red the second red highlight color is Vallejo model color flat red this applies to both the male and female vampire for the white lace I've got some Vallejo game color wolf gray first highlight color on the lace is Vallejo model color off-white and try and leave that wolf gray in all the recesses second highlight color for the lace is coat d'arms white This is Vallejo Express Black Lotus. That's taking care of the shoes of the male vampire. I'm also using the Black Lotus to do the flowers uh, in amongst the lady's fantastic wig. the base color for the skin is one of my weirdest named paints which is Vallejo game extra opaque heavy warm gray um, not quite sure how they came up with that name and if it's a translation from something in Spanish it doesn't quite work in English but it's a good color um, for pale skin I am applying highlights using the heavy warm grey with added off-white so I gave the skin some highlights there going back in with the pure off-white to pick out teeth also decided that as the vampire's red eyes would be a bit of fun so that's the flat red from Vallejo used again using the off-white to pick out a few strands of hair that were missed by the zenithal priming I did earlier couple of metallic items to pick out and we've got Vallejo model color gold a couple of buttons let's have buckles on the shoes the lady vampire has some earrings which I'll pick out as well 
Now off screen I've given the model a coat of gloss varnish and I've done that so that this wash I'm applying really gets into the recesses and slides off the glossy smooth flat surfaces. Um, the wash is a bit of a cocktail, it's got some Army Painter Dark Tone, Army Painter Flesh Wash, Army Painter Quick Shade Mixing Medium, all in a one to one ratio. I've also added a bit of Games Workshop uh, Purple Wash and a bit of Vallejo Glaze Medium as well. This should keep it from settling on the flat surfaces and really help it sink into the deeper recesses. Give the whole model a coat of this and the male vampire as well. And here are the finished pair. The subtle wash um, really helps to sort of define um, the details, works its way into the recesses, creates a bit of subtle shadowing. Um, I've given the models a couple of coats of uh, Windsor & Newton uh, matte varnish that I've brushed on just to take the shine off from um, the gloss varnish and the wash. Um, and also that's going to protect the, the paintwork. Paint worked. It will all be fairly bulletproof now. Nice to paint something a little bit different. Um, I think I struck a nice enough balance between uh, a quick approach um, with something that looks good on the table as a centerpiece of a scenario. Um, as I say, these models are NPCs for uh, one silver bayonet game, and I don't know if they're going to make an appearance after that for a, a good while unless I find another game uh, that uses vampires. So um, sometimes that's the, the catch with gaming. You want to do a decent job, but you don't want to put more time into um, characters that are only going to grace the table once or twice. At least that's my philosophy. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. I'll be back around soon with another video. Bye-bye.